Update 6 on Super Typhoon Haiyan, which is currently located over the Philippines right now, the Visayas region, with wind speeds of 185 miles per hour sustained and gusts of 225 miles per hour. Right now, with a pressure of 903 millibars, compositions 11.0 degrees north, 124.8 degrees east, as of 2 a.m. UTC on November the 8th. Now, obviously, it's a very strong storm. It did make landfall pretty much at its peak intensity. It reached 195 mile per hour winds with gusts of 235 miles per hour earlier today, which is probably the strongest landfall we've ever seen in the modern period. Uh, the storm's expected to move towards the west-northwest, uh, possibly sustaining Category 5 intensity all the way until it reaches the South China Sea, and then begin to weaken into a Category 4 storm, and then possibly still be a Category 3 major typhoon by the time it makes landfall in Vietnam in about 48 hours' time. Now, once the storm makes landfall in Vietnam, it will move inland, paralleling the coast possibly, um, moving inland and weakening to a tropical storm eventually, and by five days from now, uh, weakening to a depression, where it will eventually dissipate inland. So this is the current situation in the Philippines. Signal 4 warnings in effect for most of the Visayas region right now, and those areas that are not under Signal 4 warnings in that region are under Signal 3 warnings instead, as is the southern extremity of Luzon and the northern extremity of Mindanao as well. So Signal 2 warnings also in effect for most of the southern part of Luzon too, uh, with Signal 1 warnings just a little bit further north. Palawan also under Signal 2 warnings at the moment, and that may be um, upgraded over the next few hours as the storm is expected to move towards that region region over the next uh, 12 to 24 hours. Now obviously uh, with sustained winds of 185 miles per hour still and a pressure of 903 millibars it's still an extremely intense storm and it could be causing unimaginable damage where the um, center of the storm is right now but it is beginning to weaken and we'll probably see it um, quite consider considerably weaker um, over the next 12 hours but still a ferocious storm as it moves through the central part of the Philippines over the next 12 to 24 hours and obviously it's certainly um, the strongest storm we've seen in a very long time. So currently the sea surface temperatures where the storm is located are fairly warm right now around 28 to 29 degrees Celsius and that will remain the case until pretty much halfway along its crossing of the South China Sea where it will drop below 28 degrees Celsius and eventually begin to cool off a little bit more which will certainly begin to weaken the storm. The CMC forecast model takes the storm towards the west-northwest, making landfall in central Vietnam and moving inland, quickly dissipating. Um, it also has a new system forming in the Indian Ocean. That was what was 30W in the western Pacific, and that could strike India as well. The GFS model takes the storm towards the west-northwest, almost a due west heading at least to begin with, um, and then moving it towards central Vietnam with another storm forming after that, moving through Palawan and then out into the Ch South China Sea, a little bit further south than where Haiyan will track. Um, and then possibly strike Vietnam as well. This is the latest radar imagery of the storm making landfall um, in Leyte Island in the past few hours and you can see how it's began to disintegrate just a little bit but still an eye quite clearly visible as it moves towards the west northwest. This is the satellite imagery. You can see how the eye has cleared Leyte Island now as it moves towards the west northwest and it will approach the rest of the Visayas region probably clipping the very northern extremity of Kebu over the next um, hour or two and then begin to move towards the west northwest and um, in about 12 hours time clear the Philippines but you can see the central core of that storm is still extremely intense though it appears the worst of the conditions are currently occurring towards the southwest and the northeastern parts of the eye wall right now but obviously all the way around the central part of the storm we're looking at very strong conditions and uh, sustained winds certainly um, going into category 5 intensity obviously with much higher gusts as well so it will possibly cause far-reaching effects over there so as of right now in the World Tropics, as of November the 8th at 2 a.m. UTC, we currently have a few systems active, though Haiyan being the only system of tropical storm intensity or higher. Invest 90A in the Arabian Sea could develop into a short-lived storm um, as it heads towards uh, Somalia. And we also have Invest 97S in the uh, southern side of the Indian Ocean too. In the Pacific Ocean, this is Haiyan right now, moving over the Philippines. You can also see tropical, what was left of Tropical Depression 30W, which has a medium chance of regenerating especially as it enters the Indian Ocean so that's something to watch out for as well for those in the Indian Ocean region 2013 compared then it's the 29th busiest season on record depending on whose totals you go by 27 tropical storms 15 typhoons and 10 category 3 storms with wind speeds of 115 miles per hour or higher in the company of 1984 just above and 1982 just below and a few of the seasons from the uh, 1960s there as well as 1947 and 1985 above that as well 
You can track this storm at the website force13.com forward slash stormtracking.html. That's the main page for all the storm tracking information, um, including information on any of the storm out there, including Haiyan, of course, um, including invests and post tropical cyclones. You can also find us elsewhere on the web, Facebook and Twitter, just search force13 on either of those mediums. You should find us fairly easily enough. And as always, please do show your support by doing the usual means of engagement, liking, subscribing, com commenting, favoriting, or following, or need anything else that you can think of. And if you have any comments on the storm or questions or anything to, to that regard, you can do so by the comments section of this video or by private message if you so wish. By the way, it doesn't appear that I can reply to comments at the moment due to something going on with YouTube. So um, failing that, you can private message or send a message through the Force 13 contact form on the website. The next update on this storm will follow at 8.30pm UTC on Friday the 8th of November 2013, that's 4.30am Philippine time on November the 9th. But until then, as always and more than ever, stay safe out there.